is turn that Osotogari into kind of a semi-nagi as well, but still going to be Osotogari. It's going to be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's review the basic Osotogari, the back step Osoto. So, guys, just remember now, we're still going to be doing this. Okay, he's going to do Osotogari initially, okay? So the back step Osoto is what he's going to do. He's going to step back, and as he does, he's going to, that's going to happen, okay? Everything was there. Let's parse it out. Because we're going to add some, we're going to do something different with the right hand here in a moment. Okay? That's what's happening. So when he steps back, it's really important, and especially in this attack, as of course it was with the Osoto, but look at this foot parallel here, okay? It's not forward, because what he's going to be doing is more of a Sainagi thing in a moment here. But you can see it's a really important chop here. He's got his hand there, and he, he hooked with the Osoto, and he can throw. All right? You see that? Okay, now we're going to change things up a little bit. The only thing's going to be different is we're going to slide this right arm under here in the pong or fitting in movement with the one arm movement. You still, now if you want to pull out, that's better for you to do so. But I've always found I can still chop it in and still slide that in. Okay? Um, I picked this up off of a very talented man named Morris Allen many, many years ago. He says, if you get this arm hooked in there, you've got it. And I, this, this is a good indicator, good, good example of how that works. So, Go ahead and start to step him forward. So as he steps forward, the Sugiyashi movement. There, see like that? Now he's got it here, with foot's chambered and pointed this direction. Now this right hand, instead of being set there, that steering hand here, he's going to slide, keep the fist going. He's going to slide it under in the pawn movement. Fist up, elbow down. Again, shoulder to shoulder. He's not trying to slide him over his shoulder. But you see now he's now what he's going to do is an Osotogari with a with an Ipon Serenagi grip. So it's a very strong throw in this case, okay? So why don't you go ahead and bam, okay? And it, like, because you're doing two on one on the side, it's just the momentum is so much stronger. You know, so it's a harder ballistic effect when you throw the gun, okay? <laughs> and you can see that it was like double. Like, okay. That's why we learned break falls, okay? Break falls are good for safety, all right? So again, it's, it's the same back step we did before with the Sukiyashi movement, the sliding movement, and as he steps back, I'm going to parse it up. So he steps back, <coughs> bam. Now see the foot? Very important. This is chopped down. This is going to hook under tight, but he's not trying to throw him over his shoulder. He's still going to do Oso de Gari. And that's what he does. But he was nice with that. But when you really throw somebody, they'll say, was that a Serenagi? Was that Oso de Gari? What was it? Like Donnie Bunch said years ago, it doesn't matter what you call it, just call it a pawn. You know, it's, it still works, it's slamming. So that's a very nice variation of Soinagi or Sotogari, all the same thing. Remember, hook the second in, that right hand hooks it in tight, guys. Don't make it like you kind of have to jack them up. <coughs> this really just anchors it tight, that's all that does. That's how he's grinding here. That's why you don't have to lift so much. This, I think, would be weaker if you try to lift. It's cinching it into his body. And like, like Sandy was saying, she kind of pulls it in and tightens it up even tighter. You don't need to do that, it's totally up to you. But lock it in. And see, he's got that. Thing. So we need to need to throw him again, but you understand the situation. Now, I know you want to like, fist straight up, elbow straight down on that silly nine, okay? So one more time, so the fist, watch how the fist straight up. We want to get all these fine points in while you do it. See that? And then, and you did throw him again. Man, that's Eric loved it, I guess. All right, we good? Kind of some people would possibly call that a variety of Morphing goshi. together. What's that? Like some people would possibly even call it a variety of goshi, depending on what angle they were seeing. Well, they do it because it's yeah. there. Uh -huh. Again, who cares what they call it? Yeah. As long as they yeah. call you the guy doing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go. All right.